A member of Pittsburgh's Army Corps of Engineers traveled to the Virgin Islands to try to help with Hurricane Irma relief. Now he finds himself staring down the barrel of Hurricane Maria. Ralph Iannotti has the story now new at 6. Colonel John Lloyd of Pittsburgh arrived 10 days ago in the Virgin Islands with the Army Corps of Engineers to help with Hurricane Irma. They've been setting up temporary emergency power, cleaning up storm debris, and communicating with FEMA. He spoke with us today on FaceTime and says it's like a small nuclear bomb exploded. But if you can imagine in your neighborhoods every power line being down, all the roofs being ripped off, uh, and debris everywhere. That's kind of what it would look like. But now, Hurricane Maria is on the way. It made landfall last night as a Category 5 with 160 mile an hour winds. Maria is targeting other islands that did not get the full fury of Hurricane Irma, and that includes St. Croix. The storm is expected to hit later tonight, and Colonel Lloyd and other members of the Corps find themselves in the direct path. We are going to work with the hotel staff and probably move to the basement in their laundry facility that we've assessed structurally uh, to be the safest place for us to ride out the storm until the end. He fears the 18 to 24 inches of rain that's expected will cause widespread flooding and says they'll have a logistical challenge moving aid around with another island ravaged by a hurricane. But he's impressed with the island people. One thing I will tell you that I find absolutely remarkable of the people of the Virgin Islands is how resilient they are through these storms. I mean, right after the storm, you see people out uh, trying to get after it, trying to get their lives together to as quickly return to normalcy. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA TV News.